going to be showing you a video of how to get started in web development pretty much this is a basic tutorial it's not recommended to be used like in a class study or anything but rather it's for people who don't have an understanding of visual actually I'm going to be using Visual Studio here in this example how to use a Visual Studio to set up like your basic web pages and I already have an actual program here which is an online store I'm building right now to kind of use that as a model so that people can see how how they would begin in this experience and the reason why I think this is really important is um, I was a, a student last year at DeVry University before I graduated and I noticed a lot of the courses they were teaching me while there was a lot of good content in it some of the, the courses I was taking on web design weren't exactly very effective in what's really going on in the IT industry which I've had a taste of recently so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus also here <coughs> on something called master pages and trying to utilize that into the whole idea of teaching you how web development should really be done kind of a perspective on that as a short note so let's um, get started here I've got actually what I'm using here is a Visual Studio 2010 I believe this one is the professional edition and this is actually a good tool to use Visual Studio allows you to design website pages very effectively you can actually if you actually look here I've already got like a page here if I go to my designer here you can see live exactly what's going on in your code rather than if you use them like a for example a notepad or something like if I put up notepad here and you were just doing like regular HTML content or whatever you're doing there you can't really see the results until you actually compile it and have it run the Visual Studio does that real time as soon as you put the code in there instantly you can transfer back over and you can see exactly what's going on here so let me kind of give you an example of that here. Okay, so this is like my main page. It's not very professional, so I, excuse me on that. I'm still working on some ways of making it look better. But this is kind of an example to set up. Like if you wanted to make an online store, these are some of the things. Actually, I'm selling this computer right now. Some of the things that you would be setting up, you would create pictures. These are like the images or whatever you would put into your web page and everything. And what's really important is when you're first setting up a website, a lot of websites follow the same content. Like in my example here, you won't be able to see this. I'll run this and kind of show you what's going on here. So if I run this, you see these little menus here. I got home, store, videos, educational, news, etc. Actually, these pages are, this is actually what's known as a master page. What this means is if you have this on one page, you can actually see it on all the other pages. So for an example, I have a demo video here. If I go to my demo video page, you can stay, see it's still consistent. It stays exactly where, where it's going. And it's not repetitive code or anything. It's all actually done on one page, and that's what I wanted to kind of explain here. And take that approach since the school I went to did not actually, they did not um, honor that approach very long. They taught it in one of the courses I took, but it wasn't very effective throughout the whole course. I mean... I think master pages are very important because they actually, allow, like I said, they keep that consistency, maintaining all the way across your site and save you a lot of repetitive code and stuff like that. So let's get started on that. Okay, I have this running right now. Okay, so the first thing, I, since I already have this set up for beginners, what you actually want to do is you want to go to File, and if you set up a website, you would hit New, and you would hit Website. And then down here at this bottom, I'm not going to do it since mine's already set up. You would just type in here is going to we're going to type in the name of the the website. And the website two is a default. I think it actually website one is a default since this is the second time I do it. It's probably two. And then of course you select ASP website. And then you would select your language. You're going to use Visual Basic or C Sharp. In my example, I prefer C Sharp, which is more the standard. And then you would actually hit OK on that, and it would create basically your first project. I'm not going to be able to show you it here, but what I wanted to focus on, like I said, is the master pages. And let's just say, for example, I don't have anything up here already, but if I wanted to create a master page and I had just started my project, I would go over here, right click on the Solution Explorer, go down here and hit Add New Item, and then you would select Master Page. And down here you'll see something. It says master to dot master, but that's because I already created a master page earlier, master page dot master. So originally it would start, you would show this, since mine's already created. And then you would hit add, and it would add that to your project. And basically inside the master page, let's go inside here. Notice what I was telling you earlier. It shows um, the way this is set up, the way somebody explained this, and the way I started learning it, is it's set up 
the header section. This is the header, so it's like the, the top section. So in your header, you would have stuff like your banner, your title, or whatever, and most people might even have their menus, which I selected on here. And now at the bottom here, you would actually have the, the footer. And this is like anything like those messages you see at the bottom, like contact us or whatever, and disclosure, stuff like that. And this would, this is always going to go in the master page dot master. Let me show you something here. Let's go to the um, the source. This is the XML. So in the source here, the main thing you really want to focus on, you, you see a lot of this uh, content is kind of the same. This is all XML code and HTML embedded basically. What you want to focus on here is stuff like starting right after the body section, going down here. This is just for my code. You, on the master page you can have forms and um, the thing really important to keep in mind on that is when I go to explain this other part later you won't be able to have the forms on it and some some of the ways uh, the content set up it, it it can be really confusing for a first time user so just remember that the master page will have the form and in this example I have all my stuff set up I actually have a table embedded in here this is actually my store and then the thing I wanted to really focus on here is the, um, what's called the content page basically let me actually go through here real quickly. You see down here it says content placeholder, so up here would be the content. Try to see where I embedded it. I may have to do a search here. Let's see, it should be right in here. I think it's maybe it's should be right in front of the code here. There's so much stuff on here, I'm just gonna do a search here. I think that's it. Content placeholder. Oh, actually, it is already down here. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is you always want to have this on. You'll see this on the master page, and usually this will be at the top up here. But you want to stick this underneath everything, basically, because remember, everything above here is the header section, and everything down here is the content holder, which is going to pick up the next page, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So this one, I just called mine content placeholder. So the idea is uh, what you're going to name that that content page. And to get back to what I'm really talking about here, the, um, another file that's created, in addition, when you create that master page dot master, it's also automatically going to create the default dot ASPX. Actually, I'm in the wrong one. I'm in C sharp here. The ASPX right here. And in this page, obviously, we'll only have a few things. You'll basically have the, the title here and stuff like that. And then you'll have um, this one in every single um, content page here. And this one is actually, I just called my content one. Notice this one, content placeholder, is the same as this back here. So down here, content placeholder. So at this point, it's picking up everything from this new page and it's going to continue on down. So basically, it's just kind of drawing your page in sequence. Remember, it started with the top here. And then master page is going to always keep that consistent because it's always going to be titles and the headers. Oh, excuse me, the headers and the footers are very consistent across a lot of sites and they, they rarely change, which is probably why Microsoft came up with this, which is a pretty ingenious idea. So when you go back here to the content page, oh, I'm actually already there, excuse me, you would actually um, have everything inside these um, this area of content. So you see where it says content here, and then it closes down here at the end, and everything, all your HTML code, would go in between here. Let's scroll up a little bit. I got a lot of stuff going on here in this one. So up to here, you can have all these div tags, tables, or whatever you have in here. All the HTML code would go and be embedded in front of that. Really important. If you don't do that, you're going to end up getting errors. And I've gotten a lot of crazy errors when I was first learning this, and it was pretty frustrating at first. But eventually, like I said, if the schools were teaching it more in demand, I probably would have been able to follow the logic a little bit better. So that's one of the things that I wanted to focus on. Well, the first part is um, making sure that you understand it goes from the master page. Once again, for those who need a, a recap here, remember the title. If you look in here, this is actually my menu section. These are actually the menus being the, the menu controls that actually I have ASPX, ASP.NET creating here. And you always want to end everything. In this example, panels are going to always, you always want to end the tags with whatever you started to end the tables and divs and make sure all those are within exactly as they follow there. Okay, remember the pictures. And then over here, 
I gotta keep clicking on that one. I'm gonna move this one over here. Oops. I hate when that happens. Move the whole window. And it's gonna close this out and open it back up. You can drag them like this and you can move them across. So at this point, the default picks up everything else. And actually, if you go back up here, you notice you can't click on anything here. But if you go to the master page, you can click on stuff so you can actually add stuff and change stuff in there in the header section in the footer section which I don't have a footer section yet but you can't change it on the content page because it's not that's not what it's supposed to do it's everything below that content part remember where I showed you earlier here I should go the easier way to go back here to the master page excuse me I'll close this one out so everything down here from the content placeholder would carry over to this one and continue on down here which is exactly from where the title left off so basically it's picking up the rest of the page and a lot of the middle section this is stuff that are on web pages that are, is going to change pretty often so this is why they have this as the content and of course this is the master section so I think that'll probably give people a better idea I think it's, uh, it's a good idea to really know when designing web pages and some of this other stuff is kind of basic for those who do or do not or not in the industry or have not understood a lot about it. Your images, you always want to set those in a separate folder. Don't just try to stick them directly in the main root here because actually it's going to be a lot harder to keep track of your content and it gets kind of messy. So it's a good idea to, to, to organize everything just like in folders. So you have images, CSS, that's your cascading style scripts. And cascading style scripts can carry across the page so that they keep a consistent C going on rather than you just having to embed everything exactly inside of like your main page here to go back hit here for example let me show you a, a cascading style sheet I have set up <coughs> excuse me right in here in the code one second here so right here's one I have a computer underscore pick and if you go back to the um, the cascading style, so I'm going to move this over here too. Glad I didn't drag across that time. Okay, and if you go down here, this is one I actually created, computer pick. So this is actually creating the desktop image and it's embedding it into the page. There. So basically, cascading style scripts save you a lot of um, repetitiveness going on with your website. So you can use them and carry all the content consistently all across. So it makes it a lot easier and it's very. Um, it makes web page design very fast so you don't have to go back in and keep editing a lot of stuff and changing a lot of stuff. Those are just some of the basics of this um, lesson. I just wanted to kind of give people a grasp on the master pages because um, let's say they pretty much nailed me for a while until I could really finally understand what they were all about. And people might think that's pretty basic, but for people who don't know about the master pages, it's just kind of a tutorial in a sense. So I think I'm going to just divide these sections as I continue to address more of the ASP content that I'll be going over later so if you have any questions just uh, please go ahead and send them in the comments below YouTube section there and you can also um, subscribe to my videos if you're interested and seeing that this um, and you're interested just let me know if you're interested in letting this um, become more of a larger tutorial series because I'm really interested in sharing my information and stuff that I have learned at DeVry during that time so and maybe even later I'll even show you how this all this other stuff works. This is all the C sharp code and stuff I have going on. So thank you for watching and you guys have yourself a good night.